Okay. We are waiting for at least one person to join in so we can start with the call. How do you pause this? I'm totally new to this feature of Facebook Live and uh, I need to see how you are supposed to use it. How can this comment section? There's an invite section. I think I'm going to invite one of you who said she's online. Okay, hi. So I don't find an invite button where I can start interacting with you. Hi, Rachna. I do see. Wow. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's showing me an option. Okay. Hi, Parul. So it's our first call everyone, <coughs> thank you for joining in. Uh, the lights are not going to be that perfect, I am not a video or a camera with a person here. I am more of a text and audio person for 11 years, <laughs> maybe 12 by now, 11. <laughs> okay, so here we are with our first call of well being reloaded and this video is also going to be uploaded on our, on our YouTube channel and basically these calls are meant to you know do prayers together talk about uh, inspiration talk about stories and things like that i don't know how long this call will last maybe you know i really want to keep it short like 30 minutes and um maybe one hour as well so here we are and i want to bring you one by one hi sujay namaste so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a, <clears throat> a stopwatch here of 35 minutes Okay, and I'm so sorry the lights are not so good here. Mm. I do have a desktop, uh, but I'm too lazy to open it and figure out the settings of it. I used to do with the with the camera there, but what happened in the camera of the desktop is, um, you know, the voice would be somewhere else and the video would be pro being processed somewhere else. Okay, so here I am. <clears throat> and video okay i can't see the video option for uh, mita no rachna okay it was showing up it's not showing up now so i'm i'm going to be back in in a few minutes all right so i have set at 33 minutes of uh, the timer hmm? So I'm going to invite you and we begin with Rachna because uh, you know it it doesn't give me option for a webcam but ev for everyone uh, I was showing for Parul and Mita before not now Wow the lights are better but too bright okay So let's begin with Rachna Rachna I'm going to unmute you Please be prepared and uh, let's talk. <laughs> oh, oh, I lost her. No, she's not here. Okay, she's there. Okay. Rachna, so I've selected your icon there and it might give you the permission to access your camera so you can <laughs> and join with us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. Uh, is there any option of increasing the volume of your uh, uh, device? Option for? Increasing the volume. Volume. Yeah, um, I guess there is something wrong with my handset and uh, the volume cannot be louder than this. Okay. All right. So 
anyway we can still manage to hear you we'll, we'll just try so let's go ahead uh, what you would like to share what inspirational uh, anything that you saw on the road today or anything you know uh, i i really have no clue where to start with it uh, let's let's go with how did you start your journey on the path you know how your journey started on the pathway or god or self realization you know being who you are how did you start it what beautiful gift of suffering that you had that really pushed you into <laughs> this god realization journey and mind you everyone all these videos we're going to upload on our youtube community so feel free to you know kind of cut parts that you don't want to be out in public and you know just just share the inspiration the joy of it okay yeah so you're right like uh, i was kind of pushed to the path uh, which is probably the mentors like um, nishu you um, and couple of others they they kind of identified who i was or how what i could be uh, so initially i was in denial i was like i'm more towards the receiving end and i can't be there I, and i don't know how to do it like if, and i do, didn't really i if i could be uh, i could be uh, into you know, i could be walking that path and the first thought was also that it was too early for me i felt i was too young to get into what <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, but when it began um, my first session with nishu uh, was of a a healing a reiki healing session and i i remember i slept for 3 hours after that at her place so <laughs> <laughs> and i so 3 hours she didn't wake me up and she was like you know what it felt like you you needed the, the sleep for uh, maybe you know for for centuries and so i didn't wake you up and but then when i woke up i was i felt so connected with mother earth i felt so um <laughs> uh, like and um, it it was a different feeling i had never felt before so yeah it started from receiving and accepting and um, and uh, when i actually like embraced it completely it was after the show left and she transitioned and but she ensured that she had put me on the path and her mother also helped me a lot into it and she was the one who said for how long you are going to run away from yourself and i was like what are you talking about <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know what what does that mean and auntie was like you know you it's time and that's when i joined your angel therapy camp after that Mm, wow, nice story. Wow, it sounds really interesting when you said uh, you you know you slept like you haven't slept for centuries. Yes, that's what happens. You know, when you're really at home, you know, when the soul will recognize is that uh, there was a part of it which was which was exhausted and it needs rest. That's where the sleep comes in. <laughs> so sleeping woke you up. We must say. <laughs> I, I was amazed on that. It, it exactly happened, and you won't believe. So, if you remember, Nishu had uh, this little um, tiny dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. He was like kind of so possessive and about her, and uh, initially he was uh, kind of you know why she is here in my home and she's taking all the time of my mother and this and that. I mean, I felt that energy from him. but the day i was sleeping he was kind of sitting by my side like watching over oh. and, and when i woke up my first eye contact was with him and i'm like Shit, do i wake up should i wake up what is it <laughs> <laughs> so i developed a very different connection with him afterwards he used to like he used to really bark louder when i was around but later gradually everything settled in so that was again a kind of miracle for me that you know everything was settling in everything was giving me a sign which i gradually started recognizing not initially though but later yeah, yeah. mm wow <laughs> yes dogs are very sensitive beings they can really scan energy they can really understand the energy wow very interesting so 
you you had a very deep feeling session and that allowed you to really embrace the past really recognize there's something more to it than just a three dimensional human experience isn't it mm-hmm. wow that that's beautiful what put me on the path yes please go ahead you were saying something that her transition i mean i felt like literally nishu kind of created or uh, weaved this entire net of uh, beings around me like you and tuna and everything happened everything like it as if, as if you know she handed me over to you guys so <laughs> <laughs> yes lovely so i never got to meet her although i would receive those sms you know i mean to miss that sms on 23rd of august you know in the night time she would just sms happy birthday and that's it you know she wouldn't call she but just you know a, a sweet message a text message and um, it was really sweet you know every uh, i th- i think i must say every na- every 23rd of august night you know i really miss that <laughs> you know the text coming from her and uh, because it for me as well it was very new you know it was very new to connect with people with the person that i was <clears throat> as a very shy kid you know really connecting with people people you don't know or people you just see over the social media you somehow feel safe and they're connecting with you and actually giving you quote unquote real time wish <laughs> so you can say after these all these 11 years it's i'm kind of prepared i'm kind of uh, much more comfortable to connect with video here <laughs> it's great yeah the, the amount of energy and time and everything that you are investing i think i'll take a lot of time further because i have other things to uh, which are going on parallelly but i am i'm totally happy that um, you know all the all this is it is like more of a group soul uh all your you know fellow souls coming together and just the way we are connecting and uh, at a different level uh, and with each being coming to my life contributing and i'm able to and i can see that i'm contributing there uh, initially that uh, that very acknowledgement was not there that even i was contributing so i learned gradually that it is never one way you are never at just at the receiving end and yeah that gave me a lot of um, a lot of uh, i would say i i feel sorted uh, it calmed me down it uh, brought a lot of um, how would i say it's like you know you when you gradually start becoming like pacific ocean that you know you, you go on a, on a serene level gradually so I'm, i i think i'm walking that path i don't know uh, i i'm still not uh, looking at Where I have reached, but I'm walking, and I think um, I still keep walking. I, I'm yeah, walking. that matters. That matters. You know, the the journey is more fun than reaching the goal. <laughs> yeah. Walk, yeah. Keep walking. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, how I began my journey was as a sick person all the time. You know, in the school, uh, I was usually um, you know, a very sensitive kid. I'm still a very sensitive person. um but you know getting sick a lot to the point where i would be spending time a month or two just in the home i really enjoyed those vacations i must say <laughs> you just had to have some bitter pills <laughs> and you can miss the school <laughs> i really enjoyed that but uh, anyway you know somewhere i recognized that you know there has to be some answer to it you have to find some answer and the doctor said that you know this you know you are going to have to eat supplements iron supplements all the time you know you won't be able to live a, no- a regular normal life i never heard about energy healing uh, you know because i think most of us they just know all about allopathy you know they might have heard about herbs or ayurveda but they like to connect with some kind of sci- sci-fi movies you know <laughs> not the real time movies where you, people actually could do energy healing people could actually you know have powerful herbs and things like that in their uh, possession so you know my mom took this energy healing course and the book that she brought you know she was not practicing uh, the techniques a lot but the book that she brought really hooked me in you know because for me it was like oh my god it's possible <laughs> i was a 14 year old 
kid at the time, I just saw the book, you know, I was like, wow, it's fascinating. You know, you can channel prana, you can channel energy, you can send energy and, you know, there could be healing. And there were so many testimonials, I must say, in the book of people treating and healing each other or their self of regular to chronic ailments, you know. And I remember reading that book almost like a Bible every single day, try to gain my faith first. You know, I would read the testimonials again and again and again and again. And I really covered that book from uh, cover to cover. And I was really passionate about it. I was really interested to learn it, you know, but the, the, the trainer said that you are too young, you know, you have to be at least 18 year old to uh, get these energies flowing to your system properly and safely. And uh, I got my surprise when I was 16. Uh, you know, there was this call from the trainer and uh, he said, you know what, uh, the foundation has decreased the age, uh, the eligibility age from 18 to 16 and you can join us. You know? So that's where I, um, you know, did it and um, the protocols that they suggested. And since that point on, my journey continued, and of course, within a matter of two or three months of uh, two to three months of regular healing for intensively two hours, two and a half hours a day, I regained my health back. You know, I was a very normal kid and uh, suddenly I was out of medications, medicines, and I could really feel like a normal person would do, you know, you know? healthy, energized, uh, wanting to move around, wanting to explore places. And from that point on, you know, my journey continued. So one thing led to another, you must say. So it's very interesting how our stories usually begin with a physical ailment. Uh, that's interesting because I think most of us carry the emotional and mental or psychological ailments, but we don't own it or we don't want to recognize it or we are ashamed of it or we think it's not necessary because it's not appearing on the physical body level, you know, <laughs> the, you know, so maybe when we are really depressed or sad, we may not want to recognize it or accept it. But when we have a cut or a bruise in the physical body, we want to recognize it, right? <laughs> you want to say, okay, it's bleeding. It's high time. But the interesting thing is when we wait for that, it's like an emergency signal. It's like, it's like the height of it. It's like you're full to, to the water, <laughs> full, full to the neck, to the head, as you call it. And uh, that's where we open up to, okay, I need some something. <laughs> I need something. Very interesting. So, yes, uh, if, you, if you look back, uh, yes, all these physical ailments, they are really a blessing indeed. You know, people might be thinking it's a first well-being reloaded call. And we're talking about the beauty of disease. We're talking about the beauty of physical distress and fatigue. Um, yes, it's, it's really beautiful if we choose to. We can really use it as a portal, as a doorway to healing disease itself. But it is ourself who has to say, yes, okay, I'm going to explore. I want to explore something. And I, I wish to play here, you know. And wow, that's where magic happens. Mm, very interesting. Um. I'm in your course and uh, my own endurance with uh, the kind of diseases or uh, accidents or uh, things that I, you know, so, so I keep falling most of the times. I have a flat foot and uh, that happens. But then gradually with each, uh, each injury or with each uh, discomfort or disease, I figure that, you know, and the, the very thing that we say that, you know, when you are light enters when you are broken. It finds the space uh, to enter into you and that's what has happened with me. So the first time, when, so it's like this time, when the first time I had a uh, broken foot, I was like, what, why would that happen to me? And when, <laughs> when the second time it happened after four years, and I'm like, okay, it's, it has come to tell me something. And in the last six months, I think, I'm, I can feel I'm a, I'm a much different a person than I was six months back. So, yeah, I, I can, I relate to it now more than ever. Wow. Yes, it's, it's very interesting to observe when people are healing or healed from chronic or repetitive ailments. Uh, they of, often say, I am no longer the same person. You know, they often say, I'm no longer the same person. I have a bigger perspective of life. So definitely these diseases, they are definitely here to expand and stretch, even if it seems uncomfortable, 
our perception, our, our habits, our lifestyle. And that, that, that's, that's interesting. That's, that's interesting how it is designed in the matrix of life. You know, it is meant to expand and stretch. Mm. So what are you finding of, uh, you are not in India right now, right? You are outside yeah. India? Yeah, I'm in New yeah. Jersey. I'll be back okay. in September. Okay. So what spiritual stuff you're finding there, like in your regular, uh, as you go out of the home, um, the place where you're staying? So what spirituality, what kind of spirituality you're observing in that place, in that city? You know, what is their unique way of connecting with the spirit, with God? Yeah, so I think uh, how I feel about this place, per se, uh, I would not say entire country, but whatever path I have been to in America, um, I found uh, I found it greener. I found uh, it is more blessed by the Mother Earth in terms of uh, greenery and uh, trees and how people treat the environment here. I can understand that a lot of technological development happening, but still people are more sensitive uh, to animals and to plants, trees, and um, and whatever the mother nature has to offer, including the humans in turn. I mean, in many aspects, because probably their uh, challenge regarding the routine of life is little lesser than what we face in India because of the population. But having said that, um, I find them more open to receive or more open to uh, or more sensitive to the natural energies, which is a good start. Um, uh, I have been to some places where, uh, where, where they had very strong history of um, uh, old tribes being very good. I could I, I, I felt so connected to the people. Things are very flat of that place. Uh, in, uh, like I, I just feel that. Oh, we are losing your your audio. Uh, we we'll, we are losing your audio. Can can you say it again? Is it any yeah. Okay, it's coming and going kind of. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, I find the place very positive, uh, and I also feel that any place can be very positive if we really, uh, you know, make it positive. Yes, make... absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. how I to travel a lot, and uh, it's it's about how I. Uh, how I connect with the place. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for, for saying that because, yeah, because even I feel that, that regardless of wherever you are, if you have timely food and shelter, uh, you know, every place is just the same, you know. It's just the behavior of the humans that you interact with there. Uh, that's what matters, it kind of making it a positive or negative uh, experience for you. So yes, it, it's all one and the same, you know, and um, we can choose to mold it the way we want to, like we want to make it positive or we want to make it negative, regardless of which part of the globe, you know, or we choose to identify from. Mm, yeah. Very interesting, very interesting. It was very surprising, uh, you know, for me when you said that the place is a lot greener, the place people are more sensitive to environment to the animals it's it's very interesting yes uh-huh very interesting thing is like uh, you know or san francisco which are like heavily crowded or uh, heavily constructed those cities have a different uh, tone altogether yes because there is no space for greenery in the middle of the town but Still, they have found um, spaces to build parks and maintain them well. Uh, and I think the weather at this side of the world is more friendlier, at least so far. Um, the global effect is, uh, you know, it is. Oh. 
we lost you again rachna we lost you again course is attracting a lot of rain still mm-hmm. um, and rain for me is um, a shower of um, abundance that's how i look at it so if it is raining and if we are receiving it well um, it, it will work for us yes absolutely absolutely thank you thank you for sharing that yes we are also having a lot of rains here even before the call um i thought if we would be able to make it or not but it's here so it's it's fine we have been planning for this call uh, with all of your old things and here we are right thank you so much for sharing about your journey and uh, thank you for sharing your perspectives thank you it's always great to connect with you yes take good care thank you bye All right everyone. <clears throat> and if you can see the lights going on and off here, I I really have no clue how it works. No clue. I'm I'm more of a fan of information than looking good over the camera. <laughs> okay. So, let's do some prayers everyone because uh I I do see others, you know, hi, but I can only see uh like You know if you want to be on the broadcast everyone you need to send me a request here you just have to click on the I think you might be having this i button there e y e and um, there is this uh, option to send request for the video call let me try with one more So how much time we have let me look All right so we almost have a uh, 9 minutes of timing uh, let's do a short prayer we'll do prayer um what this prayer would be about uh, let's let's keep the theme of this prayer to be finding strength through our wounds hmm that would be nice So that's allowing ourselves to close our eyes. Of course, I hope you are not driving or operating heavy machinery. There's this recording. It would be here on our Facebook group, Well Being Reloaded, and uh, at our YouTube channel, Narmada Space Akshat. Okay. So allowing ourselves to close our eyes. Bring awareness to the breath. Please repeat together. Dear universe and all the visible and invisible benevolent forces of the universe I invoke your holy presence Visualize bright pink light coming down from your head from the sky into your head letting your whole body with a bright pink white light let this bright pink white light fill every single cell all directions of the body especially guide this bright pink white light into the parts of uh, your body which needs a special attention parts of your body which are having pain or any physical health issue demanding your attention your awareness Visualize these parts cocoon in the bright pink energy. Let 
request these parts to help you understand them much more deeper, much more clearer. Your body communicates with you through words, visions or just a silent subconscious transmissions of which you may feel that nothing has happened, nothing has been spoken but the information exchange still happens. Let's visualize the bright pink white light surrounding you, the same bright pink white light let us visualize a bright pink white light surrounding the entire earth, surrounding the whole earth with love and kindness. All of humanity, all countries, all continents, without an exception, people of all different cultures, color, race, recognizing that we are part of the one God family, one big humanity. Take a moment to continue to hold the vision of this bright pink energy surrounding the earth, spreading throughout the earth. Notice the feeling of excitement of so many people that are there on the globe and the possibility to meet you and the possibility to contribute to your experience and vice versa, the possibility of you meeting them and your ability, your possibility to contribute to theirs, to their experience. Let us visualize a bright pink white light surrounding the entire plant kingdom, all the ancient and new trees, plants, herbs, all the beautiful plants sending out love invoking love onto the beautiful plant kingdom the flowers and the fruits the organic fields to the fields which are exposed by chemicals doesn't matter Visualizing the bright pink white light spreading through the mineral kingdom, the rocks, the precious and semi precious stones, treating every variety. Notice how this love, this universal love, treats every variety of the rock as the same. It doesn't differentiate between a diamond and a coal. and the light further expanding into the animal kingdom. And we're going to spend a few minutes in silence holding the vision of the bright pink energy surrounding us. Let us acknowledge its presence through our hearts. Gently bring your awareness to your sole of your feet, giving yourself a great big hug. 
for taking this time to just relax and appreciate the beauty of the world for taking time to join us here and at your own pace whenever you're ready you can open your eyes with a big big smile and so it is So thank you so much everyone for watching, for joining in and we hope to return to our, you know, to continue to organize these calls and thank you so much Rachna for enabling your camera with us and sharing um, your story, your experiences and we look forward to connect and chat with a lot more of you and all you need is a good mic and a camera. You know, I could see here Meeta Nilani on the screen, but you know, it's not giving me option to, uh, you know, start the video call. I think you are supposed to, you know, send a request or enable your video. Anyway, so I hope to meet and learn and share, you know, from more of you. Thank you so much everyone for joining in, for watching, and this was the first video call. It means a lot to me. And keep smiling. Take good care of yourself. Bye. Namaste. Bye bye.